anti-vaxxer and anti-mask protesters managed to shut down LA's largest mass vaccination site at Dodger Stadium for about an hour over the weekend, frustrating thousands of people waiting for vaccinations in their cars. The line of cars with people waiting for vaccines is once again moving smoothly here at Dodger Stadium. Police say they will set up a designated area for protesters far away from these folks so there won't be any more disruptions in the future. And one of President Biden's top pandemic advisors is forecasting a hurricane of deaths from the variants now sweeping the world. Infectious disease expert Dr. Michael Osterholm says vaccines should not be held back for second doses. In advance of this surge, we need to get as many one doses and as many people over 65 as we possibly can to, to reduce the uh, serious illness and deaths that are going to occur over the weeks ahead. That hurricane's okay. coming. And a surfer dude who claimed to have cooked up a COVID vaccine months before Pfizer or Moderna is facing federal charges. 55-year-old John Stein built a homemade lab in Seattle with equipment he bought on eBay. Got one of these for a song. Uh, but that song was about $5,000. <laughs> then he injected himself and 30 others with the vaccine, which feds call an untested, untried, and potentially unsafe substance, and charged up to $1,000 per injection. He denies wrongdoing. Johnny Stein is a scammer who is willing to jeopardize the health of Washingtonians and people all across this country simply to make a buck. It's as simple as that.